help us at all times to maintain a pure heart. Holy Father, we pray that you help us at all times, so God, to maintain a clean hands. Holy Father, in our dealings with other people, in our relationship with you, Heavenly Father, we pray. You will cleanse our hands. You will cleanse our tongues. You will cleanse our hearts. You will purge our eyes. Oh, God, we pray for total purging upon our life tonight. You will purge our conscience, oh God. You will purge our dressing, oh God. You will purge our, our thoughts, oh God. Our thinking is heavenly, Father. You will purge our brain. You will purge every organ in our body, every part of our body, oh God, that is trying to lure us into destruction. Father, we pray that tonight you will mortify the members of our flesh that are upon the earth, that are trying to drag us to hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you help us, Lord, in any way that we are falling behind, in any way that we are lagging behind, in any way that we are behind, oh God, in our speed with thee. Lord, we pray that you will fix it, oh God. Father, we pray that you will give us the grace to give you that opportunity, to give you that way, to give you that, that leeway, Heavenly Father, to walk on us, oh God. You walk on us, Lord. You walk on our lives. You walk on our, our tongue. You walk on our eyes. You walk on our heart. You walk on everything about us, oh God, we pray for a change, Heavenly Father. Lord, we pray that tonight you will renew us. You will renew us, oh God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will renew us, oh God, by the word of God that we've had tonight. You will renew us, oh God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You will renew us, oh God, by your, your the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Father, we thank you. Holy Father, we worship you. Holy Father, we honor you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we continue tonight, we pray you continue with us in the name of Jesus Christ. May your name be glorified for what we have had tonight. But Lord, we ask that these things will not stand against us at the last day, that your word will not condemn us, O God, but instead this word will commend us before you. Heavenly Father, we pray for grace, Lord, to do the things that we've had tonight, not just to be hearers alone, deceiving ourselves. Thank you, Lord, for answering us, O God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank God for the Bible study of tonight. And uh, we thank all of all that are here that uh, took some time out to join, to listen to the word of God. Um, we have come to the end of the Bible study, but want to quickly um See if we have anybody here that's coming with us for the first time. Do we have any first timer? Anybody want to indicate? Just drop your name on the chat there. Name? Yeah. And, uh, probably the city where you are coming from. Oh. Amen. Mm. Okay. Amen. We can. We want to quickly take our offering as uh, we round off tonight. I want you to dip your hands in your pocket, bring out your phone, maybe some cash you want to bring to church on Sunday because we're not able to collect cash tonight. So tonight, basically, we're going to sell our offering. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to give out of the abundance of the substance that you've given to us. We are offering unto you this little token of our appreciation. Lord, pray accept them, O oh God, as we give them unto you with a cheerful heart. O oh God, thank you, Father. And we pray, Lord, that for those that don't have to give, you will provide for them. Thank you, Lord, for answering us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our weekly meetings remain the same. And um, we just want to emphasize that on Saturday by 2 p.m., we're expected to gather at the church for the service of songs for us in the honor of, I say it that way because we don't honor the dead. Whatever we are doing is for the living. So that's why I put it that way in honor of our brethren whose mom had passed, Sister Amaka, the wife of our uh, pastor and boy, her siblings. Elder sister comes with us here at DC Church. Uh, uh, once in a while, probably because she's not mobile, when the kids are not uh, are not working, they come with her. So Neka is there, the granddaughter. And uh, we also have um, Sister Ngozi, who also comes, but maybe because of her job schedule, uh, she's not able to make it on Sundays. But whenever she's not working, she's uh, there with us. 
So she has um, uh, the uh, fallen hero had um, three kids, three children with us, and uh, her grandchildren are also somehow they've been here once in a while with us. And uh, again, uh, maybe great grandchild that's uh, Sister Neka's uh, son. So let's uh, try to be available on Saturday by 2 p.m. So just to encourage and to kind of um, uh, condole with these brethren who lost their mom. And um, the Bible says we should mourn with those that are mourning, uh, rejoice with those that are rejoicing. This is, because there's time for everything. This is now time to mourn. Uh, we want to also uh, come with them this um, uh, time of mourning just to encourage them. And uh, much more than that, we want to keep them in our prayers uh, as uh, days draw, uh, draw closer for the funeral of songs, uh, sorry, service of songs and the funeral service. We keep praying with this family that the Lord we give them, uh, grant them that grace to bear this loss. Uh, the activities of the week, we also uh, be meeting here again on Friday, same time. We uh, thank you for coming tonight, joining us tonight. We hope to see you again on Saturday, uh, sorry, on Friday by 6.20. Uh, after the Friday revival service, then Saturday is for the funeral, of, funeral sorry, service of songs. Then Sunday is the young adult day. And then um, if there's any other thing, just keep an eye on the group chat. Uh, we'll update you through that platform. So it's time now for us to share the grace before we break up the meeting tonight. Um, let's share the grace in fellowship. Again, before we share the grace, please remember the uh, convention is fast approaching. And that will be coming up in October to so encourage us to make sure you register. If not done so, make arrangements for transportation and uh, accommodation. Uh, we don't want any last minute surprises. Whatever you want to do, this is the time to do it. Because time is running out. And um, like they say, time and tide waits for nobody. Times we wait till the last minute, maybe a week to go. And then by, before you know it, you want to put everybody under serious duress. Um, we've been told several times, leaders don't like surprises. So please, whatever you want to plan now, you need a hotel accommodation, you need a transportation, please, this is the time to do it. We don't want a week to the time we are coming. And when um, maybe we are not able to meet up, like, oh, this church, they don't love everybody. No, we love everybody. But uh, the Bible says, lead us not into temptation. So let's do the right thing and don't tempt anybody. And then begin to, you know, say, oh, they don't know. We love everybody, but let's do the right thing. I know we know how to do the right thing. And the Lord will help us to do it in Jesus' name. Make there sure you, you register and then get your money ready for the accommodation. And the time to do everything is now. Thank you. Let's share the grace before we break off the meeting tonight. The grace, one, two, three, go. The grace, grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ. The, love the love of God, God. and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, with us now forever and forevermore. Amen. Yes. Mercy. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, and we hope to see you again on Friday by 6.20 p.m. Good night, and God bless you. Thank Good you, night, sir. God bless mm. you, too. Amen. Mm. Ah, bali,